What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in this week's uh, course I'm going to be showing you something really excited. So I wanted to do a really complex course that completely covers the topic of steel constructions in Revit. So I decided to do a four part course, so this will be a four hour course that will be released uh, in the next few weeks, so one hour each week up on my Patreon, uh, first the link in the description of this video. And in this course I want to cover pretty much everything that you need to know for steel construction in Revit and steel structures in Revit. So I get started by basically placing some beams, columns, all of these steel elements that are, and all of the tools that are on the uh, structure on the structure tab and then I show you how to create this cool construction it's a sort of a warehouse construction and after we have constructed that then I show you how to use all of the tools and features on the steel tab to fabricate these uh, really cool structural connections I show you how to use the parametric steel connections that come with Revit out of the box and all of the the little settings for uh, for for those because they are very complex and they're made to be adapted to each situation so I show you how how to do that and also I show you how to create these various uh, different types of uh of custom steel connections. So I show you how to use these steel plates, the bolts, the welds, and all of the all of the little um, kind of adjustments and modifiers that you can use for steel elements in Revit. So you can completely co uh, construct a steel structure and then create all of the necessary project documentation uh, just out of that. And of course, uh, later on, I show you how to basically complete that project, how to place everything on sheets, so you can then later print it out so and also I show you how to make these cool um, exploded 3d diagrams and of course how to create schedules for all of that so you can kind of construct everything a lot easier so again as I said this will be a course that's going to be released uh, one part each week for the next uh, four weeks starting uh, today now I'm going to do only one announcement I'm not going to do regular announcements each week I'm just going to do regular Balkan architect YouTube tutorials uh, for the next few weeks and then this course will be of course uploaded to my patreon again as I said first link in the description takes you there and also mm, I'm going to com uh, basically combine this course as a single package so you can uh, just uh, buy it separately and uh, when I do that that link will be in the description of the video as well so without any further ado let me show you what uh, this project looks like and everything that I'm going to be covering in this course let's go to Revit so this is that project that we're going to be modeling in this course. Now I start off completely from scratch using the default uh, structural template in Revit. So all of the elements you can just follow along and create them. And for some elements, uh, just a few that I'm going to be importing, I'm going to include those in the exercise files. So no, no worries about that. Uh, now for this project, I start from scratch, I show you how to create all of the levels, how to create the grids. Uh, so for example, here we have uh, the floor plan that we're going to or the floor plans that we're going to be creating so I show you how to set everything up and how to do everything properly so you don't waste any time and you do everything most efficiently and for every element that I place I go in detail to the functionality behind that within Revit so you know why I did things the way that I uh, done them so I think that's really important so I basically set everything up we have this uh, fairly simple structure uh, it has this roof and then here we have a beam system on top and after we set everything up by using here all of the tools here on the uh, structure tab under structure and of course for foundation we have created that as well then we move on to the steel tab for creating some structural connections so uh, I start off by showing you how to do this connection over here for the uh, for the connection between the rafter and the column. Uh, now this is fairly simple to place but then I show you how to go here in depth by going here to edit and then we have this edit connection menu that will open up in just a second. Here we go. So this is very complex and I go really in depth through all of these elements so you know in future for all of these how to set everything up, what uh, all of these settings are for and how to use them uh, in a best way. So I just go over all of these settings. I, I think it's really cool to get to know how everything works. So I show you how to how everything works and how can you 
customize and modify these uh, parametric connections that come with Revit to work with your uh, project. So that's what I show you over here. Then we move on to creating some custom connections. So for example, we have a custom Apex connection over here. Uh, I show you how to model this using all of these tools here on the uh, steel tab, how to use plates, uh, bolts, how to use anchors. Uh, for anchors, I show you how to make this uh, complex connection over here, this anchor for our uh, for our foundation so basically this uh, column is anchored inside of the foundation so I show you how to model all of this here we have some welds we have the anchors we have the bolts here we have the bolts that are holding in the brace and the brace has a little bolt here in the middle as well so I show you all of that and then uh, after that, I show you for all of the other uh, places where we have to kind of figure out how elements come together. For example, here we have this parametric connection and as you can see, the uh, this steel beam is cut uh, in a particular way. So I'll show you how to make this cut parametrically. So it's not only cutting this beam, but you can actually reuse this uh, connection and uh, just transfer it to other beams. So I show you how to use all of these modifier tools like the corner cut, the uh, cope skew, the shorten and the uh, contour cut and how to use them not only in one place but how to make them uh, into a connection which you can then reuse both on uh, the original project but on other projects as well. Also I show you how to use the cope, the emitter uh, and the saw cut tools, the cut through, the cut by, so all of these parametric cuts, how to use them and then how can you reuse them in future projects. I show you how you can create these uh, custom uh, connections and then how to transfer them to projects which may have a similar connection between a column and a foundation and then you can just uh, reuse that. Now this project had a lot of these different issues that I show you how to solve but also uh, I, I wanted to go one step further and just show you a few more. So here uh, we have a different project, this is just a, a truss, so I show you how to create trusses, how to modify them, how to adjust them. They have a lot of settings here uh, for their parameters, so I show you basically what do those all mean and what do they change, how can you adjust this perfectly and then how can you manage manually modified so here if we have this perfect connection with a weld as you can see there so everything's welded perfectly everything's connected perfectly so I show you how to do that then we have this really cool connection which I show you how to do so we have a uh, really cool uh, column which is part concrete part steel so it's a reinforced uh, uh, concrete uh, column and then we have a connection to a steel beam so it looks kind of like this it's it's really complex to uh, model so we show you how to do all of that and then how to sh I show you how to create this cool view where it's kind of looks like the concrete has been peeled away and you can see all of the elements in this uh, cool little 3D view. Now speaking about presentation, uh, here uh, you can see that we do all of the views. I show you how to do all of the tagging, how to do uh, all of the uh, all of the dimension lines, how to do the sections, how to adjust everything and how to use uh, these uh, cool annotation lines which I had from a previous project but I show you how to load them into this project uh, which is really useful to know. So we do the sections, all of the floor plans with all of the tags for all of the elements and then here uh, we have uh, these details so I show you how to do complex details like this, how to add all of the annotation elements, all of the uh, the detail lines, the uh, the little uh, the little tags for each element, like for example for these anchors and for the plate, uh, things like that. So I show you all of that, and also how to create this cool displaced uh, 3D view for your connection that shows all of those uh, all of those elements. How are they supposed to come together for uh, uh, finally for your project? So I show you even that, and finally we're creating a schedule. So here, for example, we have a uh, foundation schedule, then we have the framing schedule so you know all of the elements that you need to get and uh, also uh, the, their length, the combined length and all of the different elements that are included in the uh, in the project. So I, I show all of that and basically how to complete uh, all of the uh, information for a structural steel fabrication uh, in Revit. So that's what this uh, project is uh, all about.
So if you want to check uh, this out, I suggest you check out the first link in the description, which takes you to my Patreon. There you can find this course. But also I'm planning on making this course as a separate package, which you can buy. And uh, once I complete that, a link for that will be also in the description of this video. So I hope I have uh, got you excited about this and I'll be back with another regular Balkan architect tutorial in a couple of days. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.